This video will show you how to sew throw pillows from Sombrella Furniture Fabric and Sayerite's Pillow Forms. This style of throw pillow uses a zipper closure system so you can easily wash your pillow cover. Okay, we're going to make a cover for our 20 by 20 uh, pillow form with a zipper in the bottom of it. So we have to cut two squares out. You're going to cut your square 19 by 19 because the pillow form itself measures 20 by 20. So it's going to be taken in some. So if you made your cover to finish 20 by 20, it'd be kind of sloppy loose. So we, you want to make it an inch smaller than what your pillow form for the inside. With our pillow forms, they're real soft pillow forms. And as you can see, the thickness in them, that takes up some of the dimension, the outer dimension. So we want to make sure that you make your sides right. So for the 20 by 20, You'd want to make it a uh, 19 by 19 cut, and it's going to finish 18 by 18 when we're done. Because you're going to need to allow for a half inch seam all the way around. And you want to make sure that you square that off at the bottom of your fabric. Deb's going to cut off the selvage edge and also the cut edge to make sure they're straight. Since for this video we're using a pillow form that is 20 inches by 20 inches, we're cutting two fabric blanks that are 19 inches by 19 inches. For other size pillow forms, use this chart and cut two fabric blanks per pillow. Okay, now I'm going to go use a hot knife and cut these apart. You can use scissors, but it frays quite a bit, so it's a lot better if you use maybe a pinking shears or a hot knife to cut it out and seal the edges. Because this is a zippered pillow, you can take it off and wash it. By utilizing a hot knife, soldering gun, or wood burning tool to cut the fabric, that'll prevent the edges from unraveling when you wash it. We now have two fabric blanks that equal 19 inches by 19 it's inches. This is 20 by 20 pillow form cover with the zipper bottom. That way if you want to take your cover off, wash your cover, put it back on your pillow form, you can. Now, what we're going to do is, we're going to go in about two inches again, a half inch seam, and back tack on both ends, okay? And then, we're going to, I'll show you how to top stitch along that bottom and sew your zipper in. But first you want to do your corners. So what we're going to do is we're going to sew in here about two inches on both sides. Stop. We're using the Sayerite 111 sewing machine with the MCSCR power system. Okay, I just want to make sure that you back stitch so that your stitches will hold. You go to open it and they won't come apart. Take your cover open like this. And then if you'd like to, you can just crease down your half inch. But what we're going to do is we're going to split this open and our zipper is going to be right here in this opening. So you can just crease down your half inch or you can use basting tape and you can tape that down. But what we're going to do is go ahead and just top stitch down this half inch here and then we'll put our zipper on and sew the zipper on that way this will be steady and staying in place for you when you go to put your zipper on. So you can do it from the back side. And then you can see where you did your back tacking here and at this end. But you want to sew across the complete bottom of the pillow. And again, like I said, you can pin it or hold it or you can use basting tape, whichever you're comfortable with. Stitching at both ends. And turn it, do the same thing on the other side. Right now, this is the inside of your pillow here. And what you end up with is that. You've got your finished edge for the outside. You want to do is just take your your zipper and um, you can get the continuous zipper. Now you want to make sure that your zipper goes beyond your back tack stitching here because we're going to sew across it to make sure that it holds in place. 
Okay, so we're going to be making a half inch seam coming up the sides here. So you can back your zipper away from that so that it's not in there when we go to close that shut because it'll just bulk it up. So you want to bring it back at least behind that. And then you can see where the stitches are here. So you want to be sure that the end of your zipper is at least beyond there. Otherwise, it's going to come through the hole. We're going to have a mess. The slider will come off. So you want to go probably in between the two. So I would go ahead and start that about there. Now another thing too is on this continuous zipper, you can leave it lay flat on there and then put your slider on later on certain items. But on this certain one, we're going to end up close, sewing this shut while we have the zipper sewing it down. So we don't want to do that or you'll never get the slider on. One thing you want to make sure of is when you put your slider on, you want to make sure once you get it on there, it doesn't matter whether you put it on this way or this way, but when you go to sew it down to your pillow, it does matter. Put your pull on the zipper before you put the zipper on. There we go. Okay, so we want to start it about there. Bring it down. Now our seam's there. And we want to take our half inch seam. So we want to come about in between there. So I'm going to lay the zipper there at that mark, bring it down across here. Now, this is where you can cut off your zipper. This continuous zipper cuts easily with scissors. On this application, I'm actually going to sew right across the teeth on both ends. That way it's not going to come off either end. And your zipper slide, as you notice, has to go down so that when you have your pillow done, you've got your slider to the outside of the pillow. Okay, so what I'm going to do is lay it at the line where we're going to start on one end. Now you want to kind of maybe walk your foot across the teeth. You want to be sure and do that a few times to make sure that that's going to keep it closed. It's not going to go beyond those stitching. Okay. And then you'll lay your zipper right along your half inch seam here. So right on down the side. Just kind of pick it up and watch as you're going along. You should run right along the edge of your seam. You'll notice that Deb down. buries the needle, lifts the foot, Pulls the slider past, lowers the foot, and continues to sew. That's an easy way to get past a slider. Make sure the back stitch, turn, and bring the other end up to this one. And again, you might want to walk that hand. Some of the machines can actually go ahead and go across, but that will definitely stop it. Okay? We have that side done. We need to come around and get this side on. Do the same thing down this edge. Okay, there you have your zipper sewn down. And this is the side with it finished. It's your zipper slide. Just like that. Now what we're going to do is you want to make sure you open the zipper and then we're going to finish closing the cover. The outside surfaces are facing each we other. So a half inch all the way around. Now turn the cover right side out.
skin, you want to steer your corners of your pillow form up into the corners of your pillow. As you can see, making a throw pillow from Sombrella Furniture Fabric is easy and they result in gorgeous throw pillows. Order your pillow forms and Sombrella Furniture Fabric from Sayerite today and do it yourself. Be sure to check out Sayerite's other videos showing how to make throw pillows with piping, throw pillows with box corners, and throw pillows with a zipper. I'm Eric Grant with Sayerite. Thanks for watching this video. Bye bye.